Sean Dyke has given his pre-match press conference ahead of Everton's game with Wolves at Goodison Park tomorrow. Game kicks off at 7.30, remember? A little bit earlier than normal night games. This is a game Everton must win, really. Obviously, two wins in 13 games so far this season. Not a brilliant start of the season by any stretch. If Wolves were to win tomorrow, they'd go above Everton. So, with a tough game again at the weekend, the Blues have really got to start winning games. The manager was asked today whether Armando Breuer, who made a return to uh, a couple of under-21 games last week, and Yusuf Chimiti, they both played for the under-21s on Friday. Uh, the manager was asked whether either of them would be in the Everton squad tomorrow night. This is what he said. Brozier certainly to be in and around it. Chimiti's not ready yet. Um, he's, he's training ever so, ever so well and training hard, but he's, he needs an extended games programme. Um, due to the nature of his injury. But Brozier should be around it. There you go. Should be seeing Brozier in that first team squad tomorrow night. Uh, the manager was asked about the takeover with it seemingly edging closer. It was asked whether or not he'd spoke to Farab Mashiri or the freaking group regarding the takeover. This is what Sean Dice had to say about that question. No, only the simple. I've always had a relationship with him which is very simple. WhatsApp messages, the odd phone call. Very super simple. Um, we're still waiting on the new ownership. It seems to be the, the general feel. I still haven't spoken to anyone. It seems to be like it's gathering some kind of pace. Um, who knows what that will bring? We'll have to wait and see because I've had no contact of any depth. With them. Again, I have to ask the question because you say that you haven't spoken to them. Does that add an, an element of frustration? Would you feel happy if you've been able to have a conversation? No. Uh, the reason uh, I say no is because it's, we all know there's been other groups who have been close and then it's fell away. But I can only imagine, um, I don't know them as operators, but I imagine they've gone, no, no, until we're absolutely there, then we'll just sit. There you go. It does seem like it's edging ever closer to take over, expecting it to be announced next week sometime. So hopefully we can all then breathe a sigh of relief and move forward uh, once that is announced. Uh, Everton obviously entertaining Wolves. Some other Wolves have been in, I know they were beaten at the weekend, but have been in some good form lately, scoring a lot of goals. Got a really good goal scoring record of late. Got to watch out for Matthias Cunha and Strand Larson. They're in really good form. Sean Dykes was asked about Wolves and how he intends to, it, to deal with them. But people weren't saying that at the very beginning of the season about them. You know, they've, they've corrected it somewhat more recently until obviously not so good on Saturday. But they've got good players. You know, most players in uh, most teams in the Premier League do have. They've had a tough start, as have we, for different reasons. Different challenges, different reasons. Another big game, another important game. Um, a very important game. Everyone keeps telling me every game is very important. And it is. No, it is. I'm not, uh, I'm not laughing about it. I'm genuinely serious. That's another thing I've learned about having a football club. Every game is a must win. That's the challenge. How do you set up your team without giving any secrets away? Because you look at how Wolves have played this season. There's only really Arsenal that have stopped them from scoring this year. So whilst they might not be getting the results, they certainly know how to put the ball in the net. Well, we, our defensive record until Sunday was very strong. Um, we know that. Um, I'd like to think we wouldn't make that many individual errors. You never know, but I'd like to think not. Um, and that, that we've corrected the defensive unit from the beginning of the season. Now it's about finding that balance that I speak about endlessly. You know, correct that. Well, get back to that solid feel, but also having more awareness in the attacking third to go and open teams up and score more goals. Let's hope the manager's right and we get back to defending the way we have been recently, bar Sunday, of course, because Wolves are really good going forward, and and it feels like we're going to have to. They're going to have to keep a clean sheet maybe to win the game or do something Everton don't do that often, which is score more than one goal in a game. Last night, the FA Cup draw was made. It paired Everton with Peterborough United at Goodison Park. Uh, a chance for Ashley Young to face off against this son <laughs> who plays for Peterborough. So that'll be a really interesting one. The game due to take place on the weekend of the 11th of January. Now, Liverpool have been drawn at home as well. They face Accrington Stanley. If you're of a certain age, it'll be who are Accrington Stanley from the Milk advert. Uh, but it does throw up an interesting little uh, twist to this game because Everton goalkeeper Billy Crellen is on loan at Accrington Stanley. Say three penalties at the weekend. Uh, so he's got the opportunity to turn out at Anfield and try to get one over on Liverpool. But obviously, with them being drawn at home, there'll have to be a, uh, a decision made on who plays on what day. I imagine they'll want to put Liverpool on live, so therefore they may well get put onto the Sunday, depending on other fixtures, of course, as well. So Everton versus Peterborough United, managed, of course, by Alex Ferguson's son, Darren. 
that game to take place on the 11th or the 12th of January. Uh, just I meant to mention this when we were talking about Wolves. The referee for the Everton Wolves game is Michael Sal uh, Salisbury and the VAR official is Darren England for that one. And the referee has been chosen for the Merseyside derby as well on Saturday. Michael Oliver is the referee. He's refereed three Merseyside derbies so far in his career, including the Van Dyke pickford one. Um, all three of those games have ended in draws. Uh, he will be assisted by Stuart Burt and James Mainwaring. Fourth official is Tony Harrington and Chris Cavanna is the VAR for the Merseyside derby at Goodison Park this Saturday. That is it for the News Daily. Make sure you give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. See you later.